Neil Byamer reporting for Kids First, and today I'm reviewing the 2007 animated film Battle for Terra. I like this movie because the story's main character is an intelligent, brave teenage girl. This movie is about an alien named Mala, voiced by Evan Rachel Wood, who lives on a planet called Terra. The alien creatures who live on Terra are called Terrians, and they have enormous eyes, turtle-like faces, long arms and hands, and mermaid-like tails that that propel them through their environment like a dolphin. Planet Earth is no longer inhabitable, and a co colony of humans have survived and are living on a spaceship called the Ark. These humans are looking for a new planet to make their home, and they find Terra. One of the small scout spaceships crashes on Terra. Humans can't survive there because there's no oxygen, but Mala is able to invent an oxygen-making machine and fills a tent with it to save the dying human, Lieutenant Jim Stanton, voiced by Luke Wilson. Lieutenant Stanton's boss, General Hammer, voiced by Brian Cox, has plans to create an Earth-like environment on Terra. If he does this, the Terrians will all die, and Mala will do anything to save her planet. My favorite character in this film is Mala's best friend, Sen, voiced by Justin Long. I like Sen because he's a very good friend to Mala. My favorite scene in this film is when Mala rescues Lieutenant Stanton. She shows compassion for him, even though the humans have been treating the Terrians horribly. The Battle for Terra is written and directed by Aristomenes Sirbas, and the screenplay is written by Ivan Spiliotopoulos. This film was awarded the, the grand prize for the best animated feature at the 2008 Ottawa International Animation Festival in Canada. I give Battle for Terra 3 out of 5 stars because it's a very violent war movie, and there's also some bad language. Science fiction is not my favorite genre, and I didn't really care for the animation style either. Although this film is rated PG, I feel that the plot is, dif is difficult to follow and is too violent for, young ch for younger children. I recommend this film to boys between the ages of 10 through 15. Look for this, mo look for this classic family film on HDNet Movies Kids Scene This Month. I'm Camille Bainla for Kids First. Thanks for watching. Bye!